Reconstruction of the elbow medial caudal ligament and the setting of a patient with a flexion contracture with fibrosis of the anterior capsule. This is first approached arthroscopically with a proximal anterolateral portal, two centimeters proximal to the lateral condyle, and one centimeter anterior, and a proximal anteromedial uh, portal, two centimeters proximal to the medial condyle, and just anterior to the intermuscular septum. An arm holder is used with position, patient in the supine position. The landmarks are identified. Here you can see the coronoid process coming into view uh, along the anterior aspect of the elbow. The capsule is debrided from the, from the anterior aspect of the humerus. First, the shaver is in the medial portal and the arthroscope laterally, and then this is then reversed to complete the anterior capsular release. The elbow is then manipulated to achieve full elbow extension. Once this has been completed, the medial caudal ligament reconstruction is performed using this medial mid-axial incision. Care is taken to identify the ulnar nerve. This is not transposed, but is marked with a vessel loop and protected. The sublime tubercle is identified under fluoroscopy, and then the flexor pronator origin is split in line with this, and dissection is carried down to the ulna, and the sublime tubercle is mobilized. The palmaris longus uh, autograft is harvested using a series of small incisions, and the entire uh, palmaris longus tendon is harvested all the way up to the limits of the muscular tennis origin. A three millimeter cutting burr is used to make the holes on either side of the sublime tubercle. These are then connected with small curettes, and sutures are passed in order to be able to pass the uh, tenon graft, which is then doubled and reinforced with a uh, suture measured to the appropriate size. The cannulated drill is used to prepare the guide holes in the distal humerus. Uh, first the guide wire and then the cannulated drill is used to make the distal drill hole. The proximal holes with a two millimeter cutting burr are then made on either side so that the sutures can be passed for passing the proximal tails of the uh, autograft is shown here. The graft has now been already passed through the uh, sublime tubercle. Sutures are placed into two proximal tails. These will then be, both be tunneled into the distal humerus. The sutures are tied onto themselves and then ultimately reinforced with uh, a biotinidesis screw as shown here. The sutures can be uh, used to reinforce the graft to the, the native residual tendon. The wound is then closed in layers after releasing the tourniquet and attaining hemostasis. A long hour plaster splint is applied.